All right, today I'm going to do the tune-up on the uh, 2004 Honda Accord 4-cylinder VTEC. All right, it seems like the spark plug is under this cover here. Okay, so we need to remove four. This one is 10 millimeter. All right, so let's lift this up. There you go, four spark plugs. Need to remove the push this and pull this out and then push this and pull it out and then push this and pull it out and then push this and pull it out. Alright, to make sure I take this whole plate out so it'll be clear. Alright, so move it up by these screws, the bolt here, so we have to get take them off in order to pull it up. A long socket, a deep socket, or you can use this. All right. So either way, just to loosen it up, and then you can just unscrew here. So we we'll just pull it up very nicely. This is one, two, three. Four. We use a small one here. This one is a 5.8. And I taped it so it won't drop inside. Alright. So let's see. So. this and you can do it by hand and this is aluminum head so make sure do it carefully with a thread especially when you install it there you go wow look at this this is the original I think they already uh, use the uh, What is the original plug? NGK Iridium. Wow, that's pretty good. So today I'm gonna to replace it with Denso. Today I'm gonna to replace with Denso. This is the part number. And the original one is NG NGK IZFR6K. So the price of these two are the same. It's about ten bucks, nine to ten dollars in uh, on Amazon. So this one is SKJ two hundred DR dash M eleven. Alright, make sure the threads are the same. Okay. All right. We, I'm gonna put some oil on the thread before I put it on. So always put some oil before on the thread before putting it back in. Okay. Carefully. Here we go. Straight down. And then hand. Tighten. Make sure the thread is in nicely. We don't want to screw up the thread. Okay, it's aluminum. Okay. Now, hand tighten. It's already tight. See that? The important thing is don't over tighten it. If you have a torque wrench, use a torque wrench.
So if you use a torque wrench, it's 13 feet pound. So 10 and 3. This will click when it's tight. And then it's done. Alright, uh, this one is done, so we can put it back. Alright. It's very lightly and it's going. All right, number two, go down lightly, hand screw, slowly and straight. No need to be in a hurry. Yep, tight now. Now we're going to use torque wedge. So 13 feet pound of torque and a quarter turn after that. After it's click, okay? Just a quarter turn after that. Okay, so now is number two. Alright, ready for number three. Number three is done. Just put it in. And this one has a credit. Alright, ready for number four. Okay, so number four is done. The two middle one needs to start, so make sure they got the right one. And we use this to turn it by hand. Alright. <coughs> so this one here. to do it too tight just enough to hold it in place I know there's vibration but I don't think it's gonna come out <laughs> not too tight just enough I'm gonna put this back in One by one. And this one's so just gonna snap in one. Two. Three. And lined up. Four. So now they are in place and there and this is how it works nicely alright one two
Oh.